All right, welcome back to the Math Puzzle Crash Course. We have a problem here with two trains. Uh, the train number one leaves the station traveling at 50 miles per hour the entire time. Two hours later, train number two leaves the station traveling at 70 miles per hour, but going in the same direction. How many miles will it take for train number two to overtake train number one? All right, well, uh, train number one will have traveled 50 times t miles, or 50 t miles after t hours. Uh, t represents the time it takes for train number one uh, to reach the point where train number two overtakes it. Um, train number two uh, left the station two hours after train number one left, so it takes two hours less time, or t minus two uh, for train number two uh, to get to that point. Uh, the distance that train number two would travel would be represented by 70 times the quantity t minus two, 70 times t minus two. So tr again, uh, the trains travel the same distance from the station to the point where train number two overtakes train number one. I mean, they're they're meeting at some point. So that point, um, no matter if it's train number one or train number two, it's the same distance from the station. It just takes train number two less time to get to that point because it's traveling faster. So knowing that train number one travels 50 T miles um, and train number two travels 70 times T minus two, um, we can set those equal to each other. So you can see here uh, that we have we have 50t equals 70 times the quantity t minus 2. You set those distances equal, and then we can solve for t. You end up with 140 equals 20t, or t equals 7 hours. So that means it takes train number 1 7 hours to get to this point. Um, whereas for train number two, it only takes five hours to get to that same point. So uh, train number one, again, we said traveled 50 times T or 50 T, which uh, T is seven. So 50 times seven is 350 miles. And uh, train number two would be traveling 70 times the quantity T minus two or 70 times the quantity seven minus seven minus two, which... 7 minus 2 is 5, right? And 70 times 5 is 350 miles. So um, that answer does check out. The, it takes 7 hours for train number 1 to get to that point. <clears throat> uh, to try out, it takes 7 hours to go 350 miles. For train number 2, it takes only uh, 5 hours to go the 350 miles. But the, the answer to the question was... Uh, the question asked, how many miles will it take for train number two to overtake train number one? And the answer would be uh, 350 miles. So uh, hopefully this uh, video has been helpful. And uh, please consider liking, sharing, subscribing. And look forward to seeing everyone in the next video.